first, I would say I am very much in favor of a town planner for many reasons. It's my understanding under the current flood insurance proposed inc premium increases that the work of a planner could have a great impact in reducing those increases by the community compliance right. with FEMA's requirements. Can you go into that a little bit? I can um, to a, a, a very little bit because I attended a, uh, a meeting on Thursday at Marston School with a lot of local officials and um, FEMA was there and they really didn't enlighten us much. We were a little disappointed to be honest with you, at least I was and some of the people that I spoke with. Um, they are having, they are, they do have new maps now for, for the flood insurance, uh, for the flood zones. There are several flood zones in this town and they do have new maps that they're coming out with and, and they should be um, any any day now. And then they're also going to change the uh, some of the regulations concerning where you build, at what level, etc. Um, in addition to that, there's been um, there's a lot of seminars going on about flooding, about flood insurance, and about uh, grading and and where you build. At, at, at right now, it's at a nine that you have to build at. And it can go up, it could go down, it won't go down, but it'll go up. Um, and we're waiting for all of that to come forward. Um, however, in the meantime, what the planning board is doing is we're no longer just accepting people's um, applications with stormwater treatment. We're making them putting in new, <coughs> new plans, new types of systems to regulate the stormwater treatment and the town itself used to hold the easement so that if the homeowners or the con condominium association did not um, fulfill their what they were supposed to do then the town would come in and they'd fix it and then they would they would build a homeowners association or the condominium we're not doing that any longer um, they're, they're, they're too new the DPW doesn't have the staff the technology the, the equipment to fix these things. So we, we've created some new um, escrow accounts and some new some new stipulations in the building um, part of it where you have to keep money aside so that in five years if the system fails you're going to be able to fix it and you'll have the money there. In ten years, every ten years the system needs to be redone and, and fixed or drained or, or whatever it may need. And so we are putting that into our new plans. We're no longer allowing people to just go ahead and say, okay, we're going to do this and if, you know, and God forbid that they didn't do it, we, 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 we would rely on the town to do it and then build back the, the homeowners. It's not, the, it's not the case anymore. So we're taking proactive steps to stop things from happening However, in order to follow through with those steps, we need a town planner who can go out and look when they're building the place and double check the systems when they're putting them in. Also with the town planner, we have a town master plan. And with the master plan, we have a capital improvement program. You can't have a capital improvement in a CIP if you don't have a master plan and the master plan has to be updated every five to ten years and you need a town planner to do that we can't I can't stop a day of work go inside and put any legitimate work into a master plan because I'm only going to be there for eight hours versus working on it daily in between my other duties it's, it just doesn't make sense um, so you've got a master plan you've got a CIP you've got a lot of development you've got people that are asking to change things everything from changes of uses small tiny things that don't mean much to to the n normal person but by law have to be done and all of that hinges on having a full-time town planner as far as a town that we live in and we want to continue to live in and 
and make it grow and make it grow in a way that it does not hurt any of butters or any any other people in the town so it's it's kind of a it's kind of a necessity to help the town grow and to help the town stay the same at the same time if that makes any sense to you I'm not sure if it does or not but 